Uh, what shall I review next? Gator Man, Jonah Hex, Chipmunk Stuff, Kick-Ass, I've already done you. Okay. Computer. Hey, cuz. Um, in your last review, I noticed you were bombarded with, uh, girly things. Yeah, I'm currently looking for something manlier to review and wash that stench of girliness away. How about that movie sitting right there next to you? Lay fuck, Orion. Why? <laughs> well, well, why the fuck not? John Constantine first appeared in issue 37 of the Saga of the Swamp Thing before becoming the titular character of Hellblazer, a comic about magic and supernatural conflicts that are saved by our main hero. The film opened up in 2005 and was a box office bomb, only making a third of its money back and an average... Most critics gave it a 5 out of 10, saying that it was not a terrible film, but at the same time could have been a lot better. The main issue most critics have with this film is that it's filled with plot holes and inconsistencies, as well as Keanu Reeves' stale as hell acting. That all aside, let's take a look at Constantine. We open with... Typical text on the screen, and we jump to Mexico, where a man unburies an artifact, but meets his fate faster than expected. Well, that'll teach him to walk out in front of the street. The man, of course, survives and runs off as we jump to L.A., where we meet our hero, playback Keanu Reeves, being called in to investigate a possessed woman, and he begins an exorcism of the demon possessing her as he calls down to his cab driver, Chaz. I hate Shia LaBeouf as an actor. He ruined the Transformers franchise, and I completely forgot he was even in this movie. Well, he's not that bad in this. You just like to nitpick everything he's in. Are you calling me a liar when it comes to his shitty acting? I ain't calling you a truther. Did you just drink and josh me? So what if I did? Touché. Touché. Constantine traps the demon inside of a mirror and eventually kills it. We see the female lead of the film suffering from dreams of her own twin sister committing suicide, only that the dream turns out to be true as our detective investigates her death and wants answers by passing John in the elevator. Jumping back to the man with the artifact, we see animals die as he walks by, then it's back to John, who talks to his friend about an impending war he feels is coming. Before before he heads to the library, once again running into the detective. We meet Gabriel, who talks to John about his curse of being able to see angels and demons and how much he hates Our them. detective is still distraught on what's going on in her life as she goes over the camera footage. John's lung cancer acts up and he is blindsided by a bug demon who eventually gets run over, causing John to head to a bar, visiting a man who tries to convince John he's talking crazy about everything before Balthazar joins the party. Angela goes to visit John. I saw I you. remember. And then I saw Regular you at the kids. Don't you hate it when- Cut you off mid-sentence? I hate you. <laughs> no, you don't. The two talk about Angela's sister, but John refuses to help until he sees a demon heading after her. And after trying to convince her about the war between heaven and hell, demons show up and convince her of the truth. They then head to Angela's place for an experiment that sends John to hell. John begins going after Isabel, grabbing her hospital bracelet before jumping back to Earth. The priest from earlier, who suffered from hearing voices of the dead, heads to the morgue to see if he can figure things out, finding that Isabel has the same mark as the man with the artifact. He ends up killing himself to get the voices to stop. <laughs> Who? 
John tells the story of his past, and we learn that she and her sister also saw things as kids. John hears the priest's death and investigates it, finding the logo carved into his palm, and they head to Isabel's room where she killed herself, and John does everything he can to get Angela to figure out what went on with her sister. John's friend B-Man, untimely death, after explain, explaining John passages from the Hell Bible. There's why I don't trust the normal Bible. Well, you do know this is a fictional movie, right? I mean, seriously. Our knife guy hijacks a car and Angela comes queen telling John she also sees things and begs him to show her everything her sister saw, so he gives her a crash course resulting in a broken tub. Angela goes seer mode and finds a coin of Balthazar and John goes straight to him in order to attack him, bluffing him into telling him what he needed to know, while Angela is then literally sucked out of a building. Uh, John heads to the bar and requests Papa Midnight to let him use a chair to help him cross over, showing him where the knife whirler is. Angela is seen struggling with her abductor as Chaz and John search the hospital and rewatch as Chaz turns an entire supply of water for the sprinklers into holy water. Holy water? Our hero kills demon after demon and Angela is sent to hell forcing her to be taken over and John struggles to fight her and eventually Chaz has to help exercise a demon out of her stomach resulting in his death. You know what that is? It's because this is Kramer. Chaz Kramer. <laughs> That is dead. You know what? You just made the list! The list? What list? The list of douchebags who celebrate characters' deaths. Duh. Okay, put me at the top. What is wrong with you? Well, I wear a mask and a cape as well as celebrate other people's deaths, so there's two things. Stupid idiot. John uses incantations to summon the invisible being that turns out to be Gabriel, who is less than pleased at God's acceptance of humans as a whole and wants to bring Earth into hell before casting John aside like a twig. Gabriel then turns her attention to Angela to bring the demon out that is still residing in her stomach, but time has stopped as John kills himself. The Archangel, known as Lucifer, comes in and John tells him of Maimon's plans to overthrow him. So an enraged Lucifer sets his sights on saving Angela from Gabriel and burning off her wings in the process. In return for the help, John's request is to send Isabel's soul to heaven, but something happens denying Lucifer to take John's soul. Lucifer does everything he can to stop John from going into heaven, including ripping out his cancer and resurrecting him. Gabriel is now human and basically begs John to kill, but just gets punched instead. John gives the knife to Angela for safekeeping, and our movie ends with an almost kiss before our heroes part ways. So there. Was that man enough to override the other girly stuff? Honestly, the film's not that bad. It's not as good as it could have been. 
but it's not that bad of a film. In fact, I, it's one of my guilty pleasures. Well, I thought the movie was really good, but then, then again, I've only seen it once. And I, th I thought it was pretty cool uh, in just plot and storyline-wise. And plus, it's Keanu Reeves. I mean, who doesn't love him? Well, thank you, cousin of mine, for helping me with a review this week. And apparently I need to go get the door. I'll talk to you later.